First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutes to Yaakim teaching his word to the hopeful elect. Right, this video, I'm going to be talking about the true image of our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, okay, which means he is salvation or he is the deliverer. Okay, and our Lord, his image was not of a so-called Caucasian, so-called European white man. Okay, but the Lord, his image described in the Bible is that of a so-called Negro, a so-called black man. Okay, and you have uh, images going back to the period of the Dark Ages. Okay, before the Renaissance period. Okay, where you would find commonly a lot of images and paintings and descriptions of the people of the Bible and the Lord being in the image of so-called black people. All right. If you want to use, I'm using that term loosely because it's not, we're not so called we're not black. Okay. We're actually the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos and native Americans. Okay. According to Bible prophecy. Okay, the truth is, is uh, you know, has been hidden. Okay, actually, the truth has been hidden because for the since the the Renaissance, which means rebirth, you know, from around the fourteen hundreds to when the so called white man, which are the Edomites, according to Bible prophecy, they came into power and changed the images. Okay, and through, uh, you know, the destruction of the images, which is what um the term iconoclasm means. They portrayed these lies about the Lord, his image and the people of the Bible. OK, the Israelites. OK, they actually changed those images, OK, to push lies in the earth. OK, so what is the true image of our Lord? OK, is that of a so-called dark skinned man, a so-called black man. All right, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. So let's get that in the scriptures. This is Revelations 1. We'll start from 1. It says the Revelation of Yahweh Shai, which the Most High Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and, sig and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay. So we know the Bible is a book of prophecies, right? Things uh, which are said before they come to pass. Okay. And this is what uh, being revealed unto John the Revelator. Okay, now this is uh, the revelation, which means a revealing, okay, of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let's go down to verse 13, okay, where it reads, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, which the Son of Man is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the seven candlesticks represents the seven churches that was set up. All right. Um, but this is talking about our Lord, all right, the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So we know that our Lord was an actual man that came in the flesh and he wore a garment. Okay, he wore clothes. All right, this is describing it. He was wearing it down to the foot, which he would have had fringes on it. All right, that's a, a part of the uh, Israelite customs. Okay, now it says, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle, which is a golden, like, uh, belt, okay, around his garment. All right, and verse 14 says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So that's talking about the hairs that was on his head, okay, which is being described as like wool. So that's talking about the texture of his hair being like wool. Right, and now who has woolly hair? Who has that textured hair? That's so-called Negro, so-called black people, okay? So-called African American, right? Which that would be considered an Afro, okay? So that's talking about the hairs on his head. And it says, and his hairs. So if it says his head and his hairs, that would be talking about the hairs on his face, all right? Which is another custom of, Is of Israelites, which is to have their beards. Okay, which this is letting you know that the appearance of it was white in color. 
Okay, so that's letting you know his ethnicity. He's telling you his image. How does he look? All right, and it says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, now that's talking about how, uh, you know, the whites of his eyes appeared red. Okay, and our Lord was known to drink wine as well. Okay, and verse 15 goes on to say, and his feet... All right, so this is still describing the image of our Lord. All right, we know what his hair texture is like, what the, the color is. All right, his eyes. Now it's talking about his feet. All right, now it says his feet like unto fine brass. Okay, so that's talking about the color. So the, the Lord, he was a man of color. All right, it's describing him as having color. It says his feet like unto fine brass. Okay, so the same color that your feet is, is going to be the same color as your whole skin. So this is talking about how our Lord looked, all right, his color. But it goes on to tell you, it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So that's telling you that the complexion of our Lord was very dark skin. All right, this is not describing a so-called Caucasian white man, all right, a pale face uh, Edomite That's not what this is describing Okay As brass Alright now let's Let's Get an image of brass Alright what colour is brass Alright because we know It's not pale or, or white Okay That's colour Alright and it can go on From even like a brown Or even darker Okay Let's see, let's type in burnt brass. Burnt brass, yeah. And this is the thing they don't really teach in the churches. They don't teach in, in mainstream. They don't like to talk about these scriptures or talk about these things. They say, oh, it don't matter. But if it didn't matter, then why would they change it in the beginning? Why are they so uh, offended when you bring its importance up, right? Because it's written in the Bible. Okay, burnt brass. That's what that is. That's what that's talking about. The complexion of our Lord and Savior was of this complexion. Look, it's even look, got an image here right, of this book. Uh, I've never seen that before, but it even tells you hair like wool, feet like burnt brass. And they've got an image here right, of our Lord and, and Yeah, which that's an interesting uh, image, man. But that's because our Lord and his disciples, the people of Israel, all right, they were people of color, all right, and still are. So let's finish this off. Revelations 1 and 15, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So we know our Lord well, had a loud voice, all right, he was preaching to multitudes, all right. So that's uh, very important to know, okay, the true image of our Lord. Now, why is it changed? Why, what has happened to where now most people think he looks like, uh, like you know, you know, just your, your local <laughs> pale, pale, pale face, so-called white man down the street. Okay, something has gone wrong. And what, what happened is you have Esau, the so-called white man, which was... When he was put into power during the Renaissance, he set up lies, man. Okay, and went around the world telling everybody lies. Okay, which is written in the scriptures as well. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay, the rulership, the power and authority has been given over to these Edomites. Okay, by the heavenly father. And he controls when they're going to be brought down. When they're going to fall. For a short time, they've been given... The rulership and they've been putting up these lies when they came into that rulership okay because it tells you he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he so who else are the Edomites who else are the wicked who else has done this who else has covered the faces of the Israelites covered the faces of the the heavenly father and the lord and savior all right the true judges who's covered their their images their faces 
Okay, going back to this image here, going back to iconoclasm, all right? The destruction of images, changing the images from being so-called black, so-called dark skin or, you know, dark skin images to pale images, okay? So-called white, Caucasian. <laughs> so, you know, that's a part of the truth, okay? And Esau is being revealed, he's being exposed. All right, that's how we know that we're at the end and his time to rule is nearly uh, at the end, okay? Because his truth is being revealed. All right, let's get a quick scripture in... I think it's first Maccabees. Is it free? I think it's second. There's a precept to that free... Um, I think it's second Maccabees. Right, because that's what that's what the scriptures tell you. The scriptures tell you what the wicked would do. I think it's two or four. So like, come on, I've got the precept. I always get mixed up with this one, but it's First Maccabees, chapter three and forty-eight. It says, "And laid open the book of the law." All right, which is talking about who these Edomites? Okay, the wicked. Right, that's what they've done. They laid open the book of the law, which is the Holy Bible, okay, which tells you the image of our Lord, which tells you the, the image of, of the people of, of the Lord. All right, which uh, you know, uh, Judah, uh, what is blackened, uh, unto the ground. All right, um, in Jeremiah, let me get that real quick. Yeah, Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. All right, it says, Judah mourneth, and Judah is the, the head tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, which our Lord uh, sprang out of the tribe of Judah, which is what the scriptures tell you. Okay, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish, all right, the leadership of our, of our people, okay, of Judah languish. It says, they are black unto the ground and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up okay so this is telling you that our people they're of color they are black unto the ground that's what is describing their image that lets you know all right and the word for black uh, is quadar okay when you when you search that word all right and that just means dark skinned all right so the people of Judah the people you know um of the Lord all right they have color all right, when you go into the scriptures. Now, we've been scattered through many captivities and, and our seed has been scattered throughout the nations. But we understand that it's according to the seed which makes you go back onto Israel. All right, our forefathers. All right, so let me go back into First Maccabees 3 and 48. It says, And laid open the book of the law, all right, the Holy Bible, wherein the heathen, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Iconoclasm. Okay. They removed the images found in uh, cathedrals and temples and churches from the Dark Ages before the Renaissance period and they changed it to be in what you would see uh, you know, commonly in the church and what you see in in, um, in Brazil, you know, all these idols and these statues of a false image of our Lord. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Lord willing, it was edifying. OK, this is a part of the truth. And we teach that. All right. The image of the Lord matters. OK, because the Lord had put that information in the scriptures, in the Holy Bible. All right. And it was prophecy that his image would be changed. So now it's prophecy that the truth is being brought out. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, all praises to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Wuhar, Rukar, Kodosh, and to the hopeful elect, Shalom.